Hi everyone, Colin here and welcome back. In the beginning, most cities and towns would drain bog lands and wetlands in order to improve the quality of the towns and the cities. But as time has gone on, we've learned that water quality is one of the important things for towns and cities and that one of the easiest and best ways to improve water quality is with plants. There's been a concerted effort over decades in Victoria, Australia to turn creeks and rivers into ribbons of green. And these become corridors for wildlife, but also as the plants around these rivers and streams establish and grow, the water is of a much higher quality with less floating particulates, the water is cleaned, and as that water enters the sea and the bays, the marine environment is also improved with clean water. This is now an established wetland that's been actually created. So this land that was prone to flooding has been deliberately engineered so that water will sit for long periods, the water will settle, the water will clear, and plants will remove heavy metals, and they will cleanse the water as it sits over time. Marsh plants and bog plants are a very important part of cleaning water. And these natural systems are the cheapest way to do it. And they also beautify areas of towns and cities, bringing back bird life, amphibians, reptiles, and wildlife that used to be pushed away is now returning. Wetlands have now been recognised as being vital to healthy towns and healthy cities. Thank you for watching and I hope your towns and cities encourage wetlands. Thanks for watching.